Okay, this talk is going to be about uh, dinosaurs mentioned in the Bible. Uh, if you get a Catholic Bible, the book of Daniel has an extra chapter in it. And in it, uh, Daniel kills, the, he confronts the king and says, uh, you know, how great God is and, and, and he's the only God that there is. And then the king goes, well, what about the God we have down here? And uh, he kind of calls it like a dragon or a monster. He goes, if, Daniel, if you can kill uh, our, our God without using spear or, 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 or weapon, I will admit that, uh, you know, that you're right. So uh, it talks about in the chapter that Daniel gets pitched together and hair and salt and starts feeding this beast this stuff and it rents it asunder, basically gives it stomach cramps till it dies. So was it a T-Rex? I don't know, but it was some kind of dinosaur. Uh, if you look on the Ishtar Gate in, in the, the, uh, uh, the, what they've reconstructed of the actual city of Babylon, you can see some creatures that are obviously known. There's uh, lions and bison, but they also have a thing that looks kind of like a, a plesiosaur dinosaur on the gate. So, uh, Daniel killed a dragon, a monster, slash god, and it was, uh, in all probability, a dinosaur. So, the, the uh, Bible talks about dinosaurs. You know, like I said, the, the word dinosaur didn't appear until the, the mid-1800s. Before that, they called them dragons or monsters. And, uh, you know, in the book of Job... Uh, God's talking to Job and he talks, well, you know, what about Leviathan and what about Behemoth and uh, uh, the chief of God's creations? Well, in the book, uh, Behemoth is described, is, is described as having a tail like a weaver's beam. Now, the apologist will try to tell you that, uh, that the uh, uh, Behemoth is a, uh, is a elephant or some such animal. Elephants have a tail about three feet long. This, however, would be a weaver's beam. A weaver's beam is generally 18 feet long, and this is way more than 18 feet long. So what was the behemoth and the Leviathan? The Leviathan could have been a whale. It just, it, that talks about the chief thing in the sea that you can't pull out with a hook. But uh, the behemoth was definitely a dinosaur so uh, you know read the book of Job and it, it should come to you that he's talking about that behemoth is actually a dinosaur and like I said get a Catholic uh, version of the Bible and they have an extra chapter in Daniel where they talk about how Daniel kills uh, the dragon the dinosaur that's in it and uh, check out the work of Trey Smith he has great videos Ken Ham Kent Hoven I have more on timbosplace.com. Please like and subscribe and uh, share if you would. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, dinosaurs have been with people. They, they just were called dragons. And uh, they, uh, uh, the lie of it being, of them dying out 65 million years ago. Like I said, they're fine. Oh, there he goes roaring. Uh, they find soft dinosaur tissue all the time. And uh, while I'm still talking about this, I want to talk about the, the dinosaur skeleton Sioux that was found in the Dakotas and seized by the uh, FBI. It's uh, currently in the uh, Chicago Museum of Natural History. It's, uh, it's considered the, most, the largest and most complete dinosaur of T-Rex skeleton ever. And I contend one of the reasons the Fed stole, stole it from the people in the Dakotas was they knew about the soft tissue already and they didn't want anybody examining it and finding the soft tissue in there. So uh, that's, that's my contention of why they actually seized the remains of Sue and gave it to a mainline museum which pushes evolution and the 65 million year timeline. Uh, anyway, so check, check that out. Uh, Fed sees the dinosaur. And thank you. I'm out of here.